Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, guys. How are you? Fine, thank you. Good evening. Very good to hear you guys. Me encanta escucharlos ya con el ánimo para iniciar la clase, right? Good evening. Okay. Welcome back, everybody. Es muy bien, es muy excelente que ustedes tengan ese mood, all right? A pesar de que es lunes, <laughs> pero están contentos, and that's great. Very good job. All right, everyone. Today we're going to start section four, my friends, all right? Section four. So I'm glad because you already work on the section three and you finished already the midterm exam, right? So let's get started. Broccoli is good for you, beginner two, class number nine. Do you remember, my friends? Nos acordamos. Sé que pasó un fin de semana, right? We already spent one weekend, but let's see if we remember. Veamos si nos acordamos. Mention at least three activities that you recall. Tres actividades que ustedes recuerdan del vocabulario que vimos la semana pasada, right? Mm. Como el de jobs. Teníamos los jobs. Teníamos también los places. And also we have the the activities, right? Y recuerdan que teníamos las activities. So tell me three activities. One volunteer. Ah, oh, sí. Doctor. Uh, uh. Ajá. Let's check las activities, no los jobs, the activities. I don't have volunteers, so I have to pick up. Okay, let me choose. Kimberly, excellent. Kimberly, tell me, please. Um, dogs, people, uh, seats of day, and world heart. That's correct. Excellent, Kimberly. Thank you. Please, Vanessa, stop drawing on the screen, right? In the start, ahí manchando la presentation, everybody. Let's see. Thank you, Kimberly. That was so kind, and you are right, my friend. Let's go with Marvin. Marvin, tell me another three vocabulary words, please. Um, quiero ver. Three me acuerdo, me acuerdo. Uh, seed of day. Seeds of day. Uh -huh. uh, works hard. The, um, handling money. And those money. That's correct, sir. Very good job. Excellent, thank you. Let's go with number two. Mention the structure of Biplos subject. Recuerdan que la semana pasada veíamos la estructura del Biplos subject, ¿verdad? Veíamos dos estructuras. Ahorita solo quiero saber una de esas dos. Emma, can you please tell me the structure of Biplos subject? Okay. Article A or an plus profession plus apostrophe s plus verb to be plus adjective. Mm -hmm. That's correct, my friend. Very good job. Now let's go to somebody else. Create one sentence using that structure. Let me see. Con esa estructura que acaba de mencionar Emma, que todos ustedes ya la tienen, solo necesito un ejemplo de una Oración. Alguien que ya tenga esa sentence? Las tienen porque ya las trabajaron. So I just want to hear one example. Let's check. A, a, a firefighter's job is dangerous. That's correct. Very good job. Thank you, Emma. Another one, otra oración, everybody. Let's see, somebody else, alguien más? A nurse job is difficult. That's true, excellent, very good, Beatriz. Kimberly, tell me another one. A police officer job is dangerous. Dangerous, bravo, excellent, Kimberly. All right, you guys. Did you notice? Tienen el be. Cuando ustedes vean que algo dice be, se refiere al verb to be. All right? 
Entonces, tienen el be y aparte también tienen el adjective, estas oraciones que sus compañeras mencionaron. Let's go with number four. Mention the structure of adjective plus noun. Let's see, Cecilia Romero. Tell me the structure of adjective plus noun. La estructura del adjective plus noun. Ay, me corrija, por si me equivoco, pero aquí tengo una estructura. ¿Qué artículo? Uh, el, or, al, plus, profession, plus, apóstrofe, plus, ver, ver to be, plus, Ay, no sé, si esa es la estructura. Right. Let's check. Esa lleva el, el apostrofe. Uh -huh. Esa lleva el apostrofe, entonces no es esa. Tiene que ser otra. Let's check. No tiene otra por ahí. Aquí tengo otra que dice article A or an post profession. Uh -huh. Post has, post article a and, post adjective, más, eh, eh, for yo. Excellent, that's correct. That one is the, the belonging one. That's the correct one. Excellent. Esa es la correcta, Cecilia. Márquenlas ahí, all right? Para que no se me vaya a confundir. Marcas. Esa es la de adjective plus now. No nos olvidemos. Ya la estructura les daba a ustedes cuál iba a ser su noun, right? Job. Dijimos que íbamos a utilizar ese noun para todas las sentences. Pero la estructura nos hacía énfasis de que antes del job teníamos que tener un adjective, right? Entonces, esa es la diferencia. En una utilizamos el verb to be y en otra utilizamos el verb to be plus adjective y en otra utilizamos adjective plus noun, right? So there you have it, guys. Thank you so much. Now, Listen up. Uh, as I told you at the beginning of the class, today we're going to see section four. But we still have some readings that we didn't practice last class. Aunque vamos a ver la sección cuatro, tenemos unos readings que no todos lograron participar la clase pasada. Y como es la lectura, es súper importante porque es una de las skills, una de las habilidades que ustedes tienen que desarrollar. Right? Tenemos reading, listening, speaking, and writing. Esas son las cuatro fundamentales, right? Entonces vamos a trabajar siempre las cuatro. So let's practice with these readings. Actress. Voy a leerlos yo primero, después voy a escoger unos volunteers. Lisa Parker has two jobs. She works as a waitress at night, but she is really an actress. During the day, she auditions for plays and television shows. Her schedule is difficult. And she's tired a lot. But she's following her dream. All right, good for her. Let's go with video game tester. Lots of teenagers want John Blue's job. Esa S de possessive, hay que mencionarla, right? Cuesta, pero hay que practicar mencionándola. John Blue's job. He plays video games for eight hours a day. And he gets paid for it. John is a video game tester for a big video game company. Is it ever boring? Never. John almost always wins, right? Let's go with Kimberly. Kimberly, tell me paragraph number one. Please read it for me. Actress, Lisa Parker has two jobs. She works as a waitress at night, but she's really an actress. During the day, the day, she auditions for plays and television shows. Her schedule is difficult and she's tired a lot, but, but she's following her dream. Bravo, Kimberly. Excellent. Very good. Fluency, perfect reading. Let's go with uh, Marby, paragraph number two, please. Lots of teenagers. Okay. <clears throat> Lot of teenagers want John Blue's job. 
He plays video game for eight hours a day, and he gets paid for it. John is a video game tester for a big video game company. Is he, be, is he ever boring? Never. John almost always wins. That's correct, sir. Thank you. Let's go with Cecilia Romero. Paragraph number one again, please. Actress. Okay, actress. Lisa Parker has two jobs. She works as the waitress at night, but she's really an actress. During the day, she auditioned for plays and television show. Here, esta, esta palabra, ¿cómo es que se menciona, menciona teacher? Schedule. Schedule. Mm -hmm. Is difficult. And she's tired a lot. But she's following her dream. That's correct, Cecilia. Bravo. Very good. Yeah. Okay. Let me go with somebody else. Alexis Perez, please. Second paragraph. El segundo paragraph, please. Love of teenagers, one young blues jobs. He plays video games for eight hours a, a day, and he has paid for it. John is a video games tester for by video game video game company. It is very boring. Never. John almost always wins. Excellent. Thank you, Alexis. Repeat after me. Is it? Is it? Uh -huh. Is it ever boring? Is it ever boring? That's correct, sir. Bravo. Thank you. Now, everybody, let's move on to the follow. Vamos al siguiente. Right? Doug Walker. Becky. Becky Pick. Yeah, Becky Pick walks in the park every day for many hours, rain or shine. Becky is a professional dog walker. She walks dogs for other people. Sometimes she takes 20 dogs to the park at one time, right? Teacher, Carlos Ruiz. Carlos Ruiz is a businessman. He plans lessons, grades homework, helps with after school activities, and of course, he teaches. His salary isn't great, but that's okay. His students like his class, so he's happy. All right, so let's check those readings, everybody. Emma, paragraph number uh, one. Dog Walker, please. Becky Pig. Becky Pig walks in the park every day for many hours. Rain or shine. Becky is a professional dog walker. She walks dogs for other people. Sometimes she takes 20 dogs to the park at one time. That's correct. Excellent. Fluency. Very good. Let's go with paragraph number two. Juan Jose Pineda, please. Good evening. Good evening. Carlos Ruiz is a busy man. He plans lesson grades, homework, help with after school activities. And um, of course, he teach, he teach, his salary isn't great, but, but that okay. He's a student like his class, so he's happy. That's correct, sir. Very good job, thank you. Let's go with let's go with Raquel Santos. Paragraph number one again, Becky Pitts. Please. All right, excellent. Thank you, Raquel. Si sí, se le escuchó, Raquel, solo que un poquito alejado, right? ¿Alguien más dijo teacher? 
No. No. <laughs> All right, excellent. I thought somebody else was calling me. Somebody else was calling. Me. Let's go with Nestor Amilcar, paragraph number two. Carlos Ruiz, please. Hi, teacher. Hello there. Carlos Ruiz, as busy man, he plans lesson, less homework, has with after school activities. And of course, he teach. His hard is is it great, but that's okay. He's a student, like his class, so happy. So he's happy. Repeat after me. So he's happy. So he's happy. Excellent. Very good job. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Now you guys check this up. This is vocabulary for you, so right? This is vocabulary for you. Aquí tiene un vocabulario bien común, right? Algo que es imprescindible utilizar al momento de una conversation también. Así que eso les puede beneficiar. We're going to make a practice, all right? Les traigo un regalito bien especial. <laughs> all right, we are having a practice. Vamos a tener una práctica. It's not that difficult. Está bien sencilla. All right, it's con el simple present. Complete the following sentences using simple present. I'm just going to remind you some. So le voy a hacer unos recordatorios. ¿Cuáles son los auxiliaries? Which are the auxiliaries that we have for simple present? Do and that's. That's correct, very good, thank you. When do I use those auxiliaries? ¿Cuándo hago uso de esos auxiliares? No lo hago en afirmación. ¿Cuándo lo hago? In questions. Questions. ¿Y cuando no quiero algo? ¿Qué es eso? En negación. Negativas. Negativo, negativo. Negaciones. Eh, negativo. Negativo. ¿Les recuerdo eso? Negativo. Por... negativo. Excellent. Very good. Porque de la nada, aunque ya lo sepamos, for some reason, no sabemos cómo expresarlo, right? Bye. Cuando ustedes vean una oración que tiene el not, su cerebro tiene que mentalizarse que es negativo, right? Entonces hacen uso de sus auxiliares dependiendo del subject que tengan. Esa es la primera cosa que hay que recordar. If I have third person singular, si yo tengo tercera persona singular, ¿Qué le voy a agregar a mi verb? Es. Es. A veces va a ser es, es, and sometimes it's gonna be only es. All right, let's work. Ah, pues sí, trabajemos. <laughs>
Do you have a do question, you... Kenya? No, 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 uh, Ico. All right, uh, for the people who's just getting in, para los que van ingresando ahorita a la reunión, all right, les voy a explicar qué estamos haciendo. Ustedes ya conocen el simple present tense, ya saben cómo manejarlo. So we are working on some sentences. Estamos realizando unas oraciones de prueba o de práctica, mejor dicho, en las cuales van a utilizar el simple present. Recordando que tienen los negatives, los auxiliaries, for negative statements and también para questions, right?
teacher. Yes. Gracias, gracias por el regalito. <laughs> it's a small practice, all right? Yes, it's really helpful. Eso nos ayuda bastante a recordar el simple present, all right? Aunque por lo que noté ustedes sí que lo recuerdan. That's excellent. Finished it. Excellent, Emma. Very good. Okay, two more minutes and we start sharing. Dos minutos más e iniciamos a compartir. Si no las logran terminar todas, don't worry, right? This is a practice. Um, if you get into the turn of passing and tell me one sentence, si a ustedes les cae el turno de pasar y decirme una oración y no la tienen, si ustedes gustan pueden intentar decirla en ese momento o son, simplemente me dicen, I don't have it, right? I don't have it. No la tengo, right? Okay, let's get started. Let's see, Emma, what do you have for number one? I get up at 6 a.m. I don't get up at 5 a.m. That's correct. Thank you, Emma. Very good. Excellent. Let's go with number two. Cecilia Rodríguez, number two. My father shaves every day. Exactly, shapes. Very good. Cerrasura, right? Thank you, Cecilia. Number three. Let's see. Mayra. Margot does take a shower in the afternoon. Doesn't. Doesn't. Uh -huh. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. That's correct. Very good, Mina. Number four, Kimberly. My sister brushes her teeth every day. Exactly. My sister brushes. Or this, everyone. Les digo algo, right? Excellent, Kimberly, that's correct. Esta palabra que significa dientes se pronuncia this, right? This. Like that. Si no, si no lo pronunciamos así, hay otra palabra también, right? Que, que puede influenciar ahí, así que hay que tener mucho cuidado de decir this. Right? Excellent. Let's go with number five. Thank you, Kimberly. Number five, Alexis Balmore. Your microphone, Alexis. Uh, my parents don't know watch. TV in the evenings. Exactly. My parents don't watch TV in the evenings. Thank you, Alexis. Recuerden, cuando ya tienen el don't, no necesitan poner not de nuevo, right? De hecho, estas oraciones les dan una pista bien clara, right? Si tienen el not, eso equivale al don't o el doesn't, dependiendo de nuestro subject. Thank you, Alexis. That's correct. Let's go with Number six, Cecilia Romero, number six, Karina. Eh, esa estaba haciendo ahorita, Karina, das, putzen, macht, uh, 
at six every day. No la he hecho todavía. Right, don't worry. Eh, ¿cómo, ¿Cómo la pondría usted? ¿Le pondría el does o no le ponemos ningún auxiliar? Porque es afirmativa. Sí, para mí que no le pondría el das, solo sería Karina Puss. Exacto. Uh -huh. Very good, Cecilia. Excellent. No okay. lleva auxiliary. That's correct. Yeah. Mm, okay. Karina puts on makeup at 6.30 every day. All right. Very good. Thank you, Cecilia. Mayrene, number seven, please. Floor watches mm -hmm. movies on Saturday. That's correct, my friend. Floor watches movies on Saturdays. Because it's affirmative. Exactly, my friend. That's correct. Thank you, my Rene. Let's go with Marvin. Marvin, number eight, please. My mother. My mo my mother does not make dinner on weekend. Mm -hmm, that's correct, all right. Usted utilizó la forma larga, está correcto también. Does not make. Very good. Excellent. My mother does not make dinner on weekend. Okay. Very good. Todo lo compra. <laughs> Let's go with, you're welcome, Marvin. Let's go with number nine. Carla Abrego, number nine. Number nine. Yes. They study made on Friday. Exactly. Very good. They study math on Fridays. Ahí no le agregamos nada, right? Just ahí, así la dejamos. Excellent. Number 10. René Portillo, number 10, please. My child. Your microphone. Eh, se ve que está hablando René, pero no le escucho. <ríe> no sé si alguien más le escucha, seré solo yo. No, all right. Ah, pues no, René, no soy solo yo. No se le escucha, all right. Quizás no le dio activar el audio. Don't worry. En lo que lo arregla, let's go with number 10, Juan José Pineda. My child. My child takes a bath every day. All right, my child takes. Takes, all right. Thank you, Juan José, that's correct. All right, although we don't know the gender, aunque no sabemos el género del, del bebé, right? But we know that it's a human being and it's in third person. So we can say takes. Let's go with number 11. Raquel Santos, 11. My sister. My sister goes to bed at 10 p.m. on a weekend. Weekdays. Weekdays, excellent, that's correct. Thank you, Raquel. Number 12, Nestor Amilcar. Hello, Nestor, are you there? All right, let's go with Beatriz Campos. Number 12, please. Susan está, está English for Seven uh, quarter to uh, nine. Um, forty-five. Forty-five. Excellent. Oh, thank, thank you, Beatrice. Susan studies English. Very good. Let's go with thirteen. Número trece. Thirteen. Alexis Hurtado. Do you think? Cree que puede darme esa sentence porque usted entró algo tardecito. No sé si. Sorry, teacher. Es eh, eh, Carlos. Don't eat. Very fast on Sunday because he get up late. Let's check. Carlos, for you, Alexis. Carlos, para usted, Alexis, is first person or third person? Carlos, eh, 
third person. Third person, right? Entonces, en vez de ponerle don't, ¿qué le pondría? Siempre negativo. Does. Doesn't, exactly. Doesn't eat sorry. breakfast. No, no me, di no me digas yeah, sorry. No, 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 no. <laughs> All right, estoy ayudándolo porque a veces quedan esos gaps ahí, ¿verdad? Y yeah. entonces, because he, ¿qué le agregaría al get up? Eh, he does it. He gets up. No, perdón. Ok. Exactly. That's correct, Alexis. Very good. Okay. Thank you. Sí, sí. Okay. Excellent. Let's go with the last one. Let me check. Me falta alguien de participar. Yesenia, please. Yesenia Vasquez, 14. My brother. My brother doesn't his teeth brush, brush at uh -huh. 11 p.m. He, uh, he does his teeth at 12 p.m. All right, excellent. Thank you, Yesenia. Voy a explicar esto a everybody, porque aquí le hace falta un verb. No es que le hace falta un verb, sino de que by logic podemos tomar este mismo verb. My brother, como mencionó Yesenia, está correcto. My brother doesn't brush his teeth, right? At 11 p.m. No se lava los dientes a las 11 p.m. He brushes, ahí ya le ponemos brushes de nuevo, his teeth at 12 p.m. All right, you guys, excellent. Thank you so much. Sé que fue algo harder, this practice, right? Como dijo Emma, qué regalito, teacher. All right, pero espero que les haya ayudado, en serio, a cubrir esos gaps que tal vez teníamos. Gaps son espacios en blanco que podemos tener, all right? Aunque, aunque conozcamos, sí. sepamos, siempre los Lagunas tenemos. Lagunas mentales. Ajá, sí. exactly. Ajá. Pues ¿Puedes con... repetir la última, la 14, por favor? Es... Al final no me quedó claro. Esta, la explicación, Mayra. My brother doesn't brush. Eso ya sabemos porque tiene el not brush, right? Y es tercera persona. My brother equivale el he. Y de ahí, he brushes. No aparece de nuevo el verb. Pero por lógica nos podemos guiar y decir, ah, este mismo verbo está utilizando, right? Porque aquí estoy diciendo, no se lava los dientes a las 11 p.m. Se los lava o se lava los dientes a las 12 p.m. Right? Lleva la S el verbo, ¿verdad? Exactly, my friend, that's correct, brushes. Ya en la segunda sentence podríamos decir, porque son dos ideas en una sola oración, divididas por la coma. Right? Es una super cascarita esa, toda esa oración. <risa> Eso sí, quizás cuesta un poquito más, right? porque no nos da el otro verb, entonces nos quedamos como chispas, y entonces le pongo, ¿qué verb le pongo? right? Pero sí, es brushes, my, mis amigos. All right, guys, excellent, very good job. Let's go to food pyramid. La lección 4 creo que es algo corta, right? Entonces, eh, para tratar de expandirla durante toda la semana, tenemos que hacer esas prácticas. Food pyramid, pero les prometo ya no traer otra práctica, sí. <ríe> Por lo menos ahorita, right? Ya lo voy a dejar descansar. Colores y números. <ríe> Let's check. For good health, para una buena salud, eat lots of grains, vegetables. Estoy leyendo esta información que está aquí, right? Vegetables and fruit. Eat some dairy, meat, and other protein. Protein, right? Protein. Eat very little fat, oil, and sugar. Entonces nos está diciendo que hay que consumir vegetales, frutas, y lácteos, y carne para obtener proteínas. Pero muy poco azúcar, grasa, y aceite. All right. So no nachos for a week. Sin nachos toda una semana, right? Para entrar en esta dieta. Let's get started, everybody. Cream. Yo les voy a dar el vocabulary. Listen carefully. Escuchemos con atención y después ustedes me van a dar el vocabulary. Cream. Butter. Candy. Oil. Potato chips. Eso es en la categoría de fat, oil, and sugar. Vamos a la categoría de meat and, prote and other protein. Fish, beans, chicken, nuts, eggs. Aquí no es F. Aquí son eggs. Beef. Dairy. Dairy es lácteos. Right? Milk, yogurt, cheese. Yo sé. 
I know, my friends. Yo sé que en Spanish decimos the would, right? Pero evitémonos el Spanish aquí y, diga, y de, tenemos que decir yogurt. Yogurt, right? Se escriben igual, pero lo pronunciamos diferente. Fruit. Bananas. Apples. Oranges. Strawberries. And mangoes. Mangoes, right? No vamos a decir mango stick, right? No, mangoes. Mangoes. Te molesta intonation. Vamos con los vegetables. Esa palabra puede ser un poco difícil de pronunciar. Vegetables. Broccoli. Carrots. Lettuce. Look at my mouth. Lettuce. Tomatoes. Potatoes. Grains. Granos. Right? Granos básicos. Bread. Cereal. Crackers. Estas crackers son como las nutritivas, no son las cookies que nosotros conocemos, ¿verdad? De mantequilla y de chocolates. No, estas son es naturales. Es el por de arroz. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly, my friend. Okay, so these are crackers. Rice, noodles. Noodles. Yo creo que los noodles solo Japanese people come casi noodles, right? Son de trigo. And pasta. Grains. Eso equivale a los grains también. All right, everybody, let's practice. Me fui despacito con este vocabulary para que pudiéramos agarrar toda la pronunciación. Let's get started with Lourdes Nerio, please. Tell me the vocabulary. Your microphone, Lourdes. Se le apagó el micrófono. Or maybe not. Let's go with Kenya Sanchez, please. Tell me the vocabulary. Cream, candy, butter, oil, potato chips, fish, beans, chicken, nut, egg, beef, milk, Como era yogur. Yogurt. Yogurt. Mm -hmm. Cheese. Bananas. Orange. Apples. Strawberry. Man mangos. No sé cómo, cómo no oírme como es como hablamos normalmente. <laughs> Más coqueta, solo eso tiene que ser mangoes. Mangoes. Right. <laughs> Uh -huh. Broccoli, carrots, le, le, lechuga, creo que son lechugas, a yes. la parte de las zanahorias. Eh, se pronuncia lettuce. Lettuce. Uh -huh. Tomat, tomates, tomates, tomato, potato, uh -huh. bread, cereal, crackets. Freeze. No. Noodles. No. Noodles. Pasta. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you so much. Very good. No mistakes, Kenya. Gracias. Let's go with Cecilia Romero. Tell me the vocabulary, please. Después de Cecilia Marvin. Okay. La verdad que me cuesta algo ver los nombres. Let me see if I can make it bigger. Aún con lentes. Ah, mira, ahora si ya no le cuesta tanto. Ok. Ok, hoy sí. Cream. Um, Fruit. Fruit. Ah, ya, yeah, ok. Uh, sería cream. Uh, candy. All. Uh, Potato chips. Potato chips. Potato chip. Mm -hmm. Potato chip. Eh, brut, butter or butter, algo así. Butter. Butter. Okay. Butter. Nosotros decimos okay. butter, all right? En el norteamericano decimos butter, pero usted va a escuchar que los, los British, los británicos, ellos dicen butter, all right? Entonces le digo para que no se me vaya a afligir si escucha butter o butter, all right? Butter, más fuerte. Butter. Butter. Right. Pero eso, ellos yeah. son los British. Nosotros estamos con el americano. Butter. Okay. Butter. 
-hmm. Bottle. Ok, bottle. Thank you. But hoy estoy, voy con las... De, Yuri, ¿cómo que dice aquí? Yuri. Ah, Sería... Dead. Ajá. Sería fish... X. No, para Deiri no, Deiri son los lácteos. Ay, Sería... perdón, sí, 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 hay que. Estoy a este lado de acá. Va. Uh -huh. Estoy con yogurt, milk, cheese. Uh -huh. Luego estoy acá con prote... proteína. Milk fish, and other protein. Uh -huh. Protein. Fish, eh, chicken, beef, eggs. Eggs, nuts, viana, ¿cómo es? Viana, que sea la par del fish. Que sea la par del fish. Son semillas, ¿verdad? Beans o nuts? No. Nuts, perdón. No, arriba del nuts, con Bean. B. Bean. 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 Ok, thank you. Uh, fruit, bananas, apples. Orange, starry berries, strawberries, strawberries, mangos, 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 mangos. Vaya, hoy voy con los vegetables. ¿Cómo dijo que se pronuncia? By the... Vegetables, 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 broccoli, uh, tomateros, tomatoes. Tomeiros. Uh -huh. eh, pote pateiros. Pateiros. <ríe> ok. Ay, no, qué difícil es esto. ¿Verdad que sí? <ríe> ya es típico. Potatoes. Ah, okay. Carros. Carros. ¿Cómo es la zanahoria? Ca Carrots. 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 Sí. Y la otra es este. Lechuga Le es. Leros. Leros. Ni por cerca. <ríe> Hoy voy, voy con los grains, son los granos, ¿verdad? Yes. Uh, bread, cereal, croquet, rice, uh, noodles? pasta, noodles, mm -hmm. pasta. That's ah. correct, my friend. Bravo, yay. Gracias. Excellent, very good job. Sí, miren, yo no les voy a mentir, ¿verdad? Right? Cuando ella dijo, ay, qué difícil es tres, ya es difícil, ¿verdad? Es difícil porque no hemos acostumbrado bien nuestro oído, ¿verdad? En español nosotros decimos yogur, mangos, ¿verdad? Porque es nuestro idioma normal, ¿verdad? Pero ya acostumbrándonos a esto, van a ver que lo van a ir adquiriendo más fácilmente. Let's go with one more person. Una persona más, porque después nos vamos a mover a unos examples y luego también vamos a hacer una practice. Let me check. Let's choose a boy, a man. Let's see. Yo iba. <laughs> ah, yes, Marvin, I'm sorry. Action, Marvin. Okay. Uh, fat, oil, sugar. Cream, butter, oil, candy, potato chip, uh, meat and other protein. Fish, beans, nuts, chicken, eggs, Bean and dairy, milk, cheese, yogurt, fruit, bananas, oranges, strawberries, apples, mangoes, broccoli, tomato, carrots, lettuce, potato, some vegetable, grain, bread, cereal, crackers. Rice, noodles, pasta. That's correct, sir. Excellent. Thank you, too. Very good. Thank you. Now, you guys, voy a hacer de nuevo la pronunciación de protein. All right? Protein. Esa es. No hacemos mucho énfasis en la pro, sino que decimos protein. All right? Protein. That's the correct one. Now, everybody, let's move on to the following. Let me check. No porque ahora no hayan participado en la pronunciación de esto, significa que no van a participar, right? It's just that I'm going to give you one more day. Es solamente que le voy a dar un día más para que puedan escuchar el video y ya vengan más relaxed tomorrow, right? So let me check. Guiding examples. All right, we have the guiding examples. 
Ay, ay, ay. René Portillo, tell me number one, please. No, I can't hear you, sir. Todavía no le escucho, sir. Right. Yeah. But thank you. I know that you were able to participate. Let's go with Alexis Hurtado, please. Tell me number one. I like butter and oil. Exactly. <laughs> I like butter and oil. La mantequilla y el aceite. <laughs> what would I like about that? Exactly. Let's go with Yesenia Vasquez, number two, please. I don't. Your microphone, honey. So, microphone. I don't like candies and cream. Exactly. And cream. And cream. Mm -hmm. Exactly. No le gusta ni los dulces ni la crema. Jesus. <laughs> Let's go with Emma, number three, please. My mother likes fish, nuts, and beans, but she doesn't like cheese and yogurt. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Only que <laughs> All right. Thank you, Emma. There you have it, guys. First sentence, first person singular. La primera oración, primera persona singular. I like I don't like, también en la segunda persona, la segunda sentence es con primera persona singular. My mother likes, ya ahí que es. What's that? Sí, person. Tercera it's third persona. Person. Third person. Third person singular, that's correct, my friends, all right? Y no tenés esto, inclusive le agregamos, de hecho aquí lleva una coma, all right? Este después de beans. Lleva coma y de ahí seguimos con but, she doesn't like, porque son dos ideas en una sola sentence, all right? So there you have it. ¿Qué vamos a hacer ahora? Let's check. Practice time. Mm. Tengo otra Cecilia. Cecilia Romero es una, pero hay una Cecilia Rodríguez. Ajá, Cecilia Rodríguez. Rodríguez, please. Eh, tell me instructions number one, two, and three. Instrucciones 1, 2 y 3. Practice time. One, work in the individuality. Dos, create two. Two, create sentences using the full pyramid. Three, use each of the categories from the Every. pyramid. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Kimberly, number four, please. Some. Some sentences shall be on third person singular. Exactly, my friends. All right, miren, por cuestiones de tiempo, solo les voy a pedir que creen una sentence. All right? Una oración and that's it. Mañana vamos a continuar trabajando en esto. All right? Just create one sentence. Um, les dejo aquí este guiding example para que se guíen o me voy a las instructions. You decide. Hola, pirámide. All right, the pyramid, excellent, thank you. One sentence, una oración. En vez de decir, I like when they say, I eat, right? I don't eat, or things like that. You can use more verbs. I cook, I don't cook. Or you can use third person singular. O pueden utilizar ya la tercera persona singular. Finish. Excellent. Let me check who said finish. Teacher, este, quisiera saber si está correcta esta oración que he hecho. Por... Tell me. Este, Finish. Uh, I like fish, but not chicken 
So. <gasps> you really don't like bien. chicken soup. De verdad no le gusta la sopa de pollo. No, no me gusta. No me gusta. <laughs> Pero siempre me hace comer eso. <laughs> Excelente, está. Cecilia. Está Very... bien así. Sí, está sí. correcta. Está bien estructurada. Ok, thank you. Excellent. Very good. Um, Kimberly, I think you were the one who told me finish, right? Creo que usted me dijo finish también. Ok, tell me your sentence. I cook pasta um, and vegetables. Mm -hmm. I cook pasta and vegetables. Excellent. Emma, did you finish, Emma? Yes. Okay, tell me your sentence. I like vegetables such as broccoli, carrots, tomatoes, potatoes, and lettuce. Very good. <laughs> Excellent. Such as. I like it. Very good. Very interesting. Let's go with Mayra. And after Mayra, Alexis. I don't like tomatoes and beans. Right, excellent, very good, I don't like, and that's it, excellent. Let's go with Alexis Hurtado. I don't eat prawns. I don't eat? Prawns. Prawns, what's that? Es camarones. Ah, shrimps. Eh. Shrimps es camarones, all right? Okay, okay. Excellent. Thank you, Alexis. Very good. Very good. Let's go with Marvin. You don't like shrimps. I mean, I'm broke on this. Very good. My <laughs> Action, Marvin. My mom doesn't like watermelon. <laughs> what a scene. Que pecado. <laughs> Excellent, Marvin. Very good. <laughs> Thank you. All right, you guys. Now you see? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, right? It's not even fácil. Yes or not? Ya conociendo el tema del simple present, ya está más fácil poder hacer estas sentences, right? <laughs> Nadie me dice yes. What happened? It's not yeah. that. Oh, all right. Thank you, Marvin. Now yes, you can teacher. listen up. Escuchemos esto, all right? Eh, solo voy a hacer un breve recordatorio. Fíjense que el día jueves que estábamos haciendo el exam, eh, encontramos una. Voy a dejar, voy a darle escape a esto. All right. Encontramos una question. Eh, quiero ver si la tenemos por aquí. Déjenme ver. Quería comentarles esto. Esta question, all right, en el examen del día viernes, del día jueves. All right. Y decíamos que para muchos nos parecía el does have, all right. Y creo que Emma y también Raquel nos estaban diciendo, no, pero es que tiene que ser el do. And you were right, girls. Si estaban correctos, all right. Por eso es que la plataforma no lo tomaba. Porque si es cierto lo que yo les dije y no es que yo lo dije, la gramática lo dice, right? Que tienen que utilizar que el it equivale a objects, animals, colors, any other things, cualquier cosa, right? Que no sea un ser humano. Para eso se utiliza el it. Pero ese es para singular. Y aquí quizás no nos fijamos que estaba la S, que era lo que Emma trataba de decirnos también. Means it's in plural, right? Entonces tiene la S de bedrooms. Por ende, no le aplica el third person singular. I hate pasta. Sí, Juan José, sí está correcto. Right? And I hate pasta. Jesus. Qué profundo. Now, you guys. Eh, sí está correcto decir to have. All right? ¿Por qué? Porque the bedrooms está en plural. Entonces, no puede ser eh, first person o third person singular. All right? Sí está claro, como les dije, lo que ustedes ya sabían, que el it equivale para objects. Pero en este caso, no, porque están plural. All right. Solo eso quería comentarles. And that's pretty much it for today's class. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Good night. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye.